Hey YouTube, uh, just showing you what I'm up to. I have a two rec unit server that I'm sort of starting to play with. Um, the particular server is a HP 385 uh, GP, G5P, um, and my one is fitted with two and a half inch drive bays. So I've got the more standard three and a half inch drives, um, which I'm planning on using in it, and that that kind of makes a little bit of a problem because they're way too big to fit in. So. What I've decided to do, uh, just as a bit of a trial, I've gotten two drive cages out of two old desktop PCs and I've screwed them together. So now I have a 13 way drive cage. Now, at the moment, the server actually doesn't support. 13 drives, I think the maximum I can fit in 9 and uh, using the, two, the RAID controller I've got but if I put a second RAID controller in I can run more drives so so I've got 13 way um, I'm probably looking at using 4 hard drive to start off with plus an um, a OS drive, uh, whether that be a three and a half inch drive, it might be a two and a half inch drive, and I use the current drive bays, but I'll get to that later. Um, so I can fit 13 drives in here, so having that many hard drives in a cage this big, um, well, I mean, at this size, I mean, they'll, they all end up being quite close together. So, uh, I need some way of cooling, cooling the drives. So, what I've decided I can do is actually fit a fan in. Now, 120mm fan, I have the option to lift the whole unit up about 20 mil or so, so gives the fan some airflow underneath it. But if I fit this in the bottom here, right, uh, and, and a couple of spaces, I lose one drive bay, and then if I allow another drive bay for vent to the lower section, then block the top. And then I can start filling hard drives from there up. So, so that will keep the drives cool enough to have them running so many so close to each other. And I'll, I'll have to decide what I want to do, whether I'll just put like a little baffle at the bottom to sort of help stop the airflow coming out the rest of the bay or what I want to do, but it's definitely an option. Or, I just thought of this just then, there's a hole in the top here. If I put the fan, no, 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 it's time to get a bit longer. I can put the fan in there, in the old, opt in the old optical drive base. So, that takes out the two top ones, but there's a big gap there, so I can still put a drive in the top. So that would give me one, two, three, four drives there. So there's lots of like um, different ways I can do this. I'll look at how I want to do it later, but this is my idea, and um, thought it might be helpful to someone. It's, it's just something I've come up with. It's came out of a need for um, a drive cage that I can fit more drives in uh, on my server. So, and this is the way I'm going to do it. Um, this will just sit physically on top. Um, there'll be uh, power tethered to it, to the server, and also the SATA connectors. So, and 
it, it seems like it will function as required and that's the biggest thing is if, if I can get this functional uh, and working well. Um, noise isn't an issue um, because the server, no matter what I do, is the server's going to be more noisy than half a dozen hard drives and a, and a single fan. So, noise isn't an issue. So, yeah, I just thought I might share this with you guys and hopefully it helps someone. So, catch you next time.